Jason Eichelberger here, prepcaltrack.com, talking to Chase Frazier, Jay Sarah High School, our Southern Section Division Four champions. Um, obviously, Coach, congratulations. Uh, you guys came here with the mindset of obviously you want to win, but the focus is obviously I know more than this. Uh, how were you able to execute here today to put out a performance that will make you encouraged for next week and other things to come? Yeah, so I was excited to get on the course today, you know, with not me, uh, the, the girls get on the course today because we haven't really raced our top seven full go for quite some time. Um, OC Champs was the last time we like got on the line with like a team goal to go out there and win, um, which was a long time ago. And so at league finals, we were running a race plan and last week at CI uh, prelims, we're running like a, you know, a race plan, giving some other athletes another opportunity to run. It's been such a blessing being so deep this year as a team, we can you know, give more athletes an opportunity to race, you know, rest some legs. And uh, and looking at this week, um, I knew Oaks Christian and La Kenyatta and Palos Verde. I mean, there's some good teams here. We, we you know, we had to be sharp, but um, the whole conversation last week with the girls was, you know, how much risk do we want to take? Um, how hard do we want to work this week? You know, to, to not leave anything, you know, for the state meet next week. Um, and we know our goals in the state meet are to not only win our division, but to run against all those other divisions. And, and we can't do anything about that but being able to push ourselves and be able to do that so you know they wanted to work hard through this week so you know we worked a little bit harder than I would have uh, you know if we wanted to really be at our best today um, but I think today was a great a great run for our group um, you know each and every week I thought we can do um, do better than we've done and I still think that's true I still think we've got a lot more to give and um, I'm just really excited to see them work together as a group and keep that spread down I think we got it you know just under a minute so that, that's, that's really good with a talented group like we've got you talked about the, the depth here and I think that's the thing that with your team is so remarkable that you guys are so deep and can be interchangeable uh, just talk a little bit about as a coach how does that not make your job easier, but how for you does that help in terms of, hey, I know that if maybe somebody's all sick, injured, whatever the case, I, I can look and, and know that I have a reliable person that can step up and, and help my team accomplish. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're not actually afraid of the adversity. We're not afraid of people getting sick or injured because, like, we know we're going to have so many people to step up. I mean, you know, athletes on our team are, are so thrilled when they get the opportunity to run, and then they know that they have to take – they can take nothing for granted out there, you know, and so, you know, they want to run hard each and every time um, so they can keep their spot. I mean, it, you know, it, it's, it's hard to do that, but I think we really saw the depth come to fruition at track season uh, when I'm running multiple DMR relays, multiple four by eight relays, multiple uh, four by mile relays, you know, in Arcadia and things like that. And, and just in practice when you have group one, group two, and they're running the same splits. We had a girl, um, Annie Packard last week who ran at the prelim and would have scored our top five today. And she didn't even make the top seven as far as like, you know, season PR. So we're constantly an evolving group um, and the girls support each other too. And they don't look down on people that, that run well, they look, you know, they, they get motivated by it. They're like, if she can, I can. So, um, yeah, I think that we worked just hard enough to perform well today and definitely save some for next week. And, and we know what we have to do now and clean up a couple of things uh, from this race today. But as a group, I, you know, I saw them uh, do exactly what I wanted today. You talked about next week and obviously running with expectation. This is a program that is expected to do well next week to uh, defend a state championship. And I know that'll be kind of the message going into it. Just talk a little bit about what has to go right in your preparation to get you guys ready for that challenge next week. Well, um, things get easier next week, in my opinion, because you, you take the kids out of school um, and they have a little bit more time to focus on practice and their preparation, their sleep, their nutrition, um, you, know, all, all, you know, all those little things that sometimes get lost with tests and quizzes and group projects and uh, on-campus activities and all of our girls are so involved in school and the campus, you know, so like this will give a, a, maybe a, a week to get, you know, a breather and then enjoy some family on Thursday and, and then we'll make our trip up to Fresno on Friday. But we've got two important workouts next week um, that we want to make sure we execute next week well. And we look forward to seeing some more great execution again. Congratulations to Coach Chase Fraser, J. Sarah High School, 2022 CIF Southern Section Division. Division four champions headed to the state meet looking to defend that division four championship. Congratulations, Coach. All right. Thank you, thank you.